New developments, a Gwinnett County man sent to jail with no bond for a marijuana arrest is now getting out. Just days after we brought you the story, Channel 2 Gwinnett County Bureau Chief Matt Johnson live at the jail. Matt, you can tell us what changed. You know, prosecutors weren't part of the original bond decision, but I'm told after our report, they worked with the attorney for the man to try to get a bond that would get him back home. The man's mother tells me she's still not sure how a marijuana arrest led to all this. Because my son is about to walk out that door. More than two weeks after an arrest for marijuana possession landed him in jail without bond, Tammy Milligan's son is set to go home. I'm a single mother. Um, and all I know how to do is keep fighting for my boys. We reported on 20 year old Jawan Battle's arrest on Wednesday and his mother's push to reverse what she called an unfair bond decision. They put attention on this jail that they didn't want. On Friday, Battle's attorney met with the prosecutor who agreed to set bond at $7,500. Man, I can't even explain how I feel right now. Like, I'm floating. Prosecutors weren't involved with the original bond decision, but worked with attorney Robert Booker to set a new bond. Gwinnett County Police arrested Battle and two friends on June 7th when they found three ounces of marijuana and a scale in the car. Battle told police the ounce of marijuana in his bag was for personal use. The two others have court-appointed attorneys and remain in jail because a judge said they were all risks of committing additional felonies. They don't deserve to be in there behind weed, marijuana cases as well. Milligan says her son made a mistake and doesn't argue with the arrest, just how the punishment didn't fit the crime for someone with no prior convictions. And you want to hold them like they committed murder. Now, it's unclear the circumstances for the other two friends that are still in jail, but relatives are working to try to get them out as well. Live in Gwinnett County, Matt Johnson, Channel 2 Action News.